Hi. What I got out at the range today is a little Star Model F. These were a little 22 long rifle pistol. These were uh, imported back in the 60s. I've even got the sales slip, uh, a slip for this one where it was sold in 1968. Some little Winchester Wildcat ammunition out here. We're going to run through it today. That Winchester Wildcat stuff has been sitting around in the uh, on the shelf for quite a few years probably need to use it up I know I just did a video with this gun just uh, not long ago but there really isn't any rhyme or reason to my shooting videos generally I take some guns out to the range and if I'm here by myself as you can see I am today not a soul in sight I'll uh, make some videos if there's uh, several other people around usually I won't bother trying to make videos I'll just uh, come out here and shoot so basically that's the uh, way it works for my shooting videos just whatever I happen to decide to take to the range that day and if there's nobody around to uh, distract me I'll go ahead and make some videos and so I'll get this thing loaded up and we'll put a few rounds through it. One interesting thing, uh, I think I mentioned it in the previous video with this gun, but uh, for anybody that hasn't seen that video, according to the sales slip, in 1968 this gun, a box of ammunition, and the sales tax was uh, $60 and some cents. Less than $61 anyway. There's no last shot hold open on these. And if that target sounded different than the first one, uh, there's multiple targets out there and different size targets make different noises when you hit them. Well, the different size uh, steel targets uh, make different uh, noise uh, when you uh, hit them. I don't know if the camera sound quality is good enough for you to be able to hear that in the video or not, but uh, we'll try it here. Uh, If I can hit the target, you can hear that, and we'll try a different one here. Again, if I can hit it. There, I finally hit the thing. Of course, that was the smallest one. Well, the little star pistols were pretty good quality little guns. Let's see if we can get all the markings on this Model F to show up. Machine steel does have plastic grips though the 
the model designation right there and the serial number. There were several different variations of this. Some were, this is the base model. There were uh, longer barreled target versions that had adjustable sights. And there is the box that it was, came in. You see right there the original uh, sale price. And let's see here, we've got the original sales slip here. And it shows uh, the gun and a box of ammunition and the sales tax back then in 1968 was $60.72. Hell, these days... Uh, if you want to go and buy a box of, say, 44 Magnum ammunition, it cost you $60. But these are just pretty nice little guns. Very simple operation. Got a thumb safety here. This here is a takedown button. Magazine release is here. 10 round magazines. The sights are decent on it. Maybe nothing to brag about, but decent. Well, thanks for watching.